Hey, my name is Bob, and if you're watching this video, you probably already know that Describe is an awesome online library of thousands of professionally written scenes of descriptive text that you can easily search, save, and plug right into your fantasy world. But now, we're going to walk through Describe's Sonic Library. Yes, all new collections of background ambiences, music, and sound effects that you can just as easily search, save, and of course play for your group in person or stream those sounds instantly to your group online through Describe's own audio web player to immerse your group even further. Seriously, I've always tried to use music in my games because it can add so much depth to the experience, but the difficulty in finding and sharing that music was always a hurdle. Now, Describe made it really easy, and in this video, I'm going to share some of the basics to get you started and a few of the finer points that I know you'll love. So step one, if you want to follow along, would be to start your very own free trial. 14 days, that's two weeks to play around, try it out, and hey, you can cancel that free membership at any time if you don't like what you hear, but I think you will. Now let's start in familiar territory. Here's Describe as you know it. Let's find any old scene of text. And right here, as long as you have an active membership to the Sonic Library, you'll be able to see this audio player with a pre-assigned ambience, basically an atmospheric sound recording already selected for this scene. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so we love that scene and that sound. Let's save it and add it to a new composition called Travel. Then click Manage Compositions, select the one we just made. And now we're basically in the Sonic Library. We can see the name of our composition at the top left, and just by clicking it here, I can change that name if I'd like to. Below that on the left, we can see that this composition currently has only one component, the road scene that we just added. And in the middle, here's the scene itself. It's tagged with just that one assigned ambience, farmyard with people and animals, which we can play and pause by clicking on the play button on the left or the title tag right here. Also, by clicking on any of these plus symbols below the scene, as well as the symbols above it, the menu dots above it, or the menu dots on the left, we can add and change just about anything we want regarding this component. We can change the name of this component, Bob in the Road, why not? <laughs> we can replace the assigned ambience. How about alien spacecraft? <laughs> Sounds like an alien spacecraft to me. Well, why not a uh, alien temple? <laughs> and we can add a note. Bob is riding in an alien craft to an alien temple. <laughs> and we can add our own music tracks or sound effects, even holding control here to select a bunch of things at once. Let's hear that plasma tower. It's coming together. Now, while we can add many different sounds to one component, we can also stay more organized by adding and arranging more components to this composition. The top of this menu on the right has our icons for music and sound effects. And by clicking one of these icons, we're easily searching saving and adding a music track. But here it should be pointed out that we're really just adding this to a playlist of music or effects that belongs to this whole composition rather than a specific component. That's a good one. To add a new component, we can choose from the next three icons in this sequence here, scenes, ambiences, and notes. First, searching for scenes is like familiar describe, but you can just see the title until you add it as a component by selecting it. Remember, you can always search for scenes the same way we found its initial one to see the preview text before adding it. So hey, maybe now we see this full text and decide to delete it from our composition. Easily done. Next, we can add and review ambiences the same way. How about Acid Planet? That'll go good with our theme here. And you'll notice that this ambience also has a text description, but unlike the text scene above, which is designed to be read aloud and was written independently of its assigned ambience, this ambience's text description is just a literal list of what sounds are being played. But of course, 
It still sounds nice when read aloud. Pools of acid bubble and stew. Spouts of steam pierce through of the viscous surface, hissing up toward the sky. Hums pervade the air as insects sing their songs. Then adding a note as a component is basically like your own blank slate. Bob's alien planet, get alien combat sounds here. And now that we have this custom component, we can add any ambiences, music, and sound effects we want to it. And if I'm really proud of what I put together, I can use the menu at the top left to set this composition to public, so other people can see my composition in their search and import it into their own composition. But Bob's Acid Planet is not ready yet. So on that note, maybe your session's in five minutes, or you're in the middle of a session when you decide, hey, it would be cool if I had some sounds going on here. You can use this last icon to import a set of components from another composition into this composition. Here's where you access the public compositions or a readied composition pre-made by Describe. So we just added Undead Swamp, and now I can see all of the scenes and ambiences already added for me right here. Now I can close that back up and then drag and drop these scenes and ambiences wherever I want. Let's put Bob in the alien road, <laughs> in the road to alien temple back at the top. And if I just hit play on this component here, it'll play all the ambiences of this one component and it'll play its first music track. Now, we didn't add a music track to uh, Bob on the road to alien temple yet, but it would only play that first track of music and it wouldn't play any of the sound effects because we don't want all that music and all those sound effects suddenly going off at once and Describe knows that. Of course, if we only want one of our ambiences to play, or we don't need a song at this time, we can toggle them by clicking the tags, just like before. And if it's a little too loud, I can always adjust my volume with this slider on the lower left, or the volume of the entire mix using these sliders at the top, which would also control what my players can hear. And now we are ready to share this composition with our players. Of course, if you're at a table together, all you have to do is hit play and make sure your speakers are turned up. But for those of us at virtual tabletops, Describe has not only outdone themselves, but they've outdone some of the main platforms that you know and may currently use for audio in your games. For people who like specs, the Describe web player streams these professionally mastered audio files at 224 kilobits per second, which is higher than the highest setting on Spotify's web player. It also handles voice at more than double the bit rate of Google Meet so it's great for capturing the full inflection and emotion in everyone's voices. Specs aside, the function is what matters and it's very straightforward. Your players just need to make their own totally free accounts on Describe, and then you go into a composition, click Invite Players, and either copy the invite link and send it to whoever you want, or pop in their email addresses and hit send. Then they can use that link to join the web player. And now you can stream your composition's audio directly through their devices. And again, you can use this web player for voice chat as well, but if you really wanna stick with your current voice chat platform, you can easily mute your mics on the web player and everything else will still run just fine. So I hope you see what I meant about intuitive. The Sonic library is really set up to be a smooth experience of searching, saving, and playing any sound you could want to have in your game. and. I don't even think I mentioned that these were all handcrafted by a talented composer, Michael Gelfi. Now, if you haven't already, sign up for that 14-day trial linked in the card on your screen and down in this video description so you can start composing your next session. Thanks for watching and keep building. Can I say that here? Can I say keep building? I'm gonna go with it, keep building.